Hello Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out who will you end up marrying. For those of you who would like to book a personal reading with me, information is in the description box below. Today is the 19th of January, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 4 33 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for earth signs and if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you even if you're dealing with the same earth sign. Okay, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Who will they end up marrying? Hi, Priestess. So this is meant to be, Earth Signs. This is meant to be. Let me see. Okay, so this is somebody very guarded. Could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. So this person has been hurt before. So they are going to be, again, very, very guarded, very selective. Somebody very intelligent as well serious a very serious energy i think their heart has been broken many times before and four pentacles here and then we've got the judgment this person is very very judgmental i think that's because they are very selective you know because of their past this row here is their past uh experiences maybe they have given their heart to somebody and it got broken and they were committed to someone and then their heart got broken and then for pentacles is somebody very closed off somebody whom you know um again very selective very picky with who they choose to spend their time with time energy and then we've got the queen of swords so both of you are as intelligent so wherever, whichever level you're at right now earth signs this person is at your level okay success level or intelligence both of you are very logical, very practical. I feel that both of you make a really, really good team. Um, have Both of you have the same mindset. Um, both of you always agree with each other. But the only issue that I see here is that both of you might bicker a little bit, okay? Um, it could be a healthy, healthy debate for some of you because both of you are as intelligent. And then we've got the Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands and one first. So again, this person has trust issues. Or it could be you um, having trust issues. But then I feel like this person is going to prove to you that they are on the same page. They are exactly like you are. Not exactly similar as you are. And think the same way i'm so sorry for these ends i don't i don't know where they came from like when i stayed in his room before i went back to kuala lumpur i said i've said this many times before just in case because it's kind of like it grosses me out <laughs> i'm not sure if you can see it but um it was never really it was never here i rarely saw like ends like maybe one or two when i was staying here like before i came back to this room that I always book, you know, whenever I, I, I stay in Bali. But anyway, let's pull out more cards. Could have been from the previous previous guest. But anyway, we've got the world here, Two of Pentacles. There's somebody very worldly, somebody who travels for their work or for their business. Again, the high priestess, someone very knowledgeable. I feel like this person has a lot of knowledge in something that they specialize this, on something that they specialize in, okay? Feels like a specialty, whatever that they do. It's a, his or her profession. Um, it, it feels like it's a profession that either that they had to study a lot for it or that they grew up learning it okay so they've got a lot of knowledge in terms of what they do in life and the world here again is somebody whom is very worldly who likes to travel or who has been or who 
somebody who travels for work, okay? Two of Pentacles. This person works a lot. I feel that they have a lot on their plate. They could be juggling many different, you know, for some of them, they may have one job and then they have um, a hustle on the side. It could be that, or if not, I feel like whatever they do, it's, it's a lot of work, okay? It could be physically, it could be mentally. Yeah. And then the lovers here in my verse, now pentacles, and then we've got the empress. This is you. So, earth signs, this person that you're going to be marrying, this is a marriage card too. He or she is going to see you as a marriage material, somebody they can grow old with, somebody they can have children with, or a blended family. Uh, depends, not everybody wants children. And also, this person finds you to be very, very beautiful inside and out. And Nine of Pentacles, this is someone who respects you for your independence, you being self-sufficient and very selective, classy, or you have high standards. And the lovers here is in verse. This person takes you seriously. Um, the lovers in verse, I feel like if there is somebody else in the picture or signs, some of you maybe you already know who this person is some of you don't know, then this reading is not going to resonate with you, okay? Um, until you meet this person. So the lover is in reverse. For me, it indicates maybe with the Three of Swords. If you do know that your person has somebody else currently or in the future, if this person has somebody else, has other options, they're going to release that other option. They're going to choose you, okay? And the Seven of Pentacles here is in reverse. I feel like this, this Seven of Pentacles makes me feel like it could be, you could be married to this person or marrying this person within seven days, seven weeks, or seven months, or in the month of July, or, or on the seventh of whichever month, okay? Timing in tarot is not very accurate, so... Um, yeah, so don't take it too literally. And for those of you who are signs that, and I always repeat this, <laughs> I always say this, right? Um, if you don't believe in marriage, then this is not the reading for you. And for those of you, if you already plan to be single for the rest of your life, this is also not the reading for you. This reading is for those of you actively seeking, searching, or expecting, or wanting to be in a marriage to get married, okay? Because I'm, I cannot... I can already foresee comments coming in saying that, oh, I don't believe in marriage. Oh, I'll be single forever. Then don't watch this video. Don't watch this video if you don't think you ever want to get married, okay? So let's see just a little bit more here. Queen of Pentacles is you as well. I feel like this person is going to really respect you a lot for your, again, independence, um, financial security, um, or that you're somebody very stable, very homely. We can definitely see you as, again, a marriage material. And you're definitely going to marry this person. Because you've got one marriage card here. The Empress is a married person. Same goes to the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody whom is married. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Pentacles. And then we've got the Ten of Wands in reverse. So definitely not a one-sided connection. I feel like it's good that the, both King and the Queen are in an upright position. That means both of you are going to be on the same page, agree to the same thing, which is to get married or uh, have some sort of a um, structure to this connection to make it work. Both of you might even like go to counseling, marriage counseling beforehand, or if there are any issues, I feel like both of you are going to deal, deal with it very logically, okay? Very realistically as well. Um, you know, I kept saying intelligent, so both of you are very intelligent, and you're not going to get, um, love is there, love is there, of course, the Empress is a very lovely energy, but I feel like this, this um, arrangement is more of the type where, okay, both of you maybe have already been through a lot of stuff in the past, heartbreaking connections, heartbreaking relationships or marriages for some of you. And I think both of you do not or will not want to repeat the same mistake again. I feel like both of you will be on the same page because both of you are experienced and both of you are not going to get carried away by just emotions and, rom you know, being overly romantic with each other and then, you know, uh, with no future. I feel like this is... Um, a connection where both of you are very compatible in many ways, okay? Yeah, you're not going to be left out in a cold by this person, but I do sense if this person has somebody else or you have somebody else, both of you will, either you or this person is going to choose each other and the world here starting a new 
um, studying a new chapter together where I feel like um, both of you will have a lot of talks judgment here both of you will judge each other I think again it's because of past experiences here three of swords where um, both of you may have been again heartbroken and I feel like that's definitely meant to be with the high priestess but for some of you, you may keep this connection a secret for a while some of you might have a secret wedding right not all of you but some of you may have a secret wedding or it feels like it could also be like running off to Vegas and get married or some of you may feel like ah it's not even necessary to have like this whole big wedding it's a waste of money you know four pentacles a bit of a stingy energy here <laughs> or somebody who you know is very selective again when it comes to how they spend their money all right earth signs virgo taurus and capricorn that's your reading hope you resonated in some way shape or form if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm gonna leave you with a couple of playlists on the screen right now the first one is from my second channel it's a travel vlog channel check it out if you want to and the second playlist is from this channel it has all of the readings that i've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions these readings these readings are still new because i post them every single day i upload them right away so they are very um fresh okay <laughs> take care of signs and don't forget that i'm open for personal readings i've added extra options to book me for a reading um for your convenience all right take care of signs hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow bye